All right, I'm gonna review a few things having to do with the VEX Cortex microcontroller and uh, how we plug things in, how we can do some basic programming of some lights, uh, how we're going to use a button, how we're going to use a potentiometer. So uh, first thing you want to do is open up Robot C. Uh, and so the easiest way to do that is to actually push the Windows key and then type VEX. And we want Robot C for VEX Robotics 4.X. All right, so while that loads, I have a Cortex here. Um, as you can see, it says uh, Cortex microcontroller on the back. Um, and you have some analog ports, digital ports, and then motor ports right here. Um, so what the first thing I want to do is I want to plug in a battery. Uh, and I'm going to plug that in right here. All right, I'm going to turn on the Cortex just like that. And those lights should flash. And then I also want to plug in this orange cable at the top. And then I'm going to plug the other end of this orange cable to the computer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in the button, uh, and I'm going to put the button, it's a digital button, I'm going to put it into digital 12. Uh, SP is the one that's all the way at the bottom, so you don't want to go there, that's SP, that's for the speaker. So you want to go one up from the very bottom in the digital area. And you really shouldn't have to push it all, you want to make sure that you're not forcing it or you'll break those little pins. Okay, so now i got a button. All right, got a button plugged in, and I'm going to plug in some, some lights also. So I have uh, a yellow light, a red light, and a green light. I'm going to put the green light, and this little slot goes, on to the, goes to the right here. I'm going to put that in digital 1, and I'm going to try and make sure that I have it in digital 1. It looks like it is, and the light may go on, it might not, it's, it's fine. I'm going to put the yellow in digital 2 and then the red in digital three, just like that. All right, then I'm gonna plug in my potentiometer. Uh, that's this guy right here. I'm gonna put it into digital 11. All right, and then I'm gonna plug in my motor. And my motor, I'm gonna plug into motor port 10. All right, so let's plug that guy into 10 right there. All right, and if it turns on, you can just turn the power off and that's fine. All right, now let's make sure that we can see everything. Yep, looks like everything can be seen. Okay. All right, so uh, close the first page on the splash page for Robot C. Uh, you want to make sure your page looks kind of like this. Uh, go to Robot, make sure that the uh, compiler target is for physical and the platform type should be VEX 2.0 Cortex. So mine is set for VEX IQ, so I'm gonna change that to VEX 2.0 Cortex, platform type, and then also make sure it says natural language PLTW, I'm gonna check that also. So everything should look like this. It should have a little bullet next to VEX 2.0 Cortex, and it should have natural language PLTW selected. Compiler target should be physical robot. So you're all set. Click new file. And then we're going to go to motor and sensor setup. Now the motor and sensor setup is very important. Uh, it matches what's on the cortex. So for instance, in the motors area, I have a motor in port 10. I'm going to call that the drive, uh, drive motor. And that's just the name. This motor is a 393 motor. Then I'm going to go to the analog sensors. And I have a... Uh, the potentiometer, actually, I plug it into digital sensor. It should be in an analog sensor, so that's my, my mistake. I'm going to put that into analog 1. Okay, So potentiometer should be in analog 1. And I'm going to just call that the speed control. All right, And then that's a potentiometer. Okay, Speed control, potentiometer. Then the digital ones, I have something in digital 1. That's my green light. All right, and that's a VEX LED. All right, and then I'm gonna have my yellow light. And that is also a VEX LED. And then my red light. And that's a VEX LED. And then down here for digital 12 is where I put my button. I'm just gonna call it button. And that's a touch sensor. All right, so I should have the motor set up. I should have my potentiometer setup, 
and then my uh, three LEDs and my button. I'm going to click OK. All right, so everything should be generated up here. If I click Compile Program, and I'm going to just save it, that's fine. And then everything changes color, so I'm good to go. All right, the very first thing I want to do in this program is just make a simple button command. And I want to, I want to check all my sensors. So I'm going to say while true, I'm going to put everything in a, uh, in a while loop, OK? So I'm going to do an open curly brace and a closing curly brace like that. And if you click Fix Formatting, it lines it up for you real nice and neat. Okay, so now I know everything in here is for my while command. All right, and then I'm going to put until bump button. So until the bump button is pressed, nothing's going to happen. And then I'm just going to put wait a second like that, and that's it. All right. And then I'm going to say compile, make sure it looks good, and then download. All right, so the reason I did this is just so I can have a program running. Um, the battery's not on, so let me turn the battery on. All right, battery's on. Click OK. All right, now I'll push start. All right, so now the program's running, and down here you can see I have my sensors uh, menu or, or window. If you don't see that, that's under robot debugger windows and then sensors and you can actually look there's a lot of other debugger windows but really we just want to look at sensors for right now so I have speed control it's the potentiometer so what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to just turn that and you'll notice the value is going up it goes up almost to probably about 4095 and then I can go all the way down to zero so if I turn a little bit you can see that value changing in the red there all right then I'm going to push my button I'm push my button and you can see where it says button and it says touch it changes from a value of zero to a value of one so now I know my button is working all right my LEDs are showing zero and they're off so that's correct so that's exactly the way they should be all right I'm gonna go ahead and stop my program now that I know everything's working all right and I'm gonna do until bump and then I'm gonna have it start the motor so I'm gonna say start motor and the drive motor and I'm gonna make it go full speed and then I'm gonna wait until it gets bumped again and then I'm gonna stop the motor just like that alright now if I go ahead and download that I'm gonna test my motor I'll click start and now if I go over here if I push this button the motor goes on and if I push it again the motor goes off push the button motor goes on push again the motor goes off so we're good all right now what I want to do is make those lights go on based on what the potentiometer is doing um, now it can be a little tricky to do this all at the exact same time um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a second task all right, I'm going to call it task lights, just like that. So I can have a separate task running at the same time. If I click compile program, yep, it's going to say it's unreferenced, so that's fine. Okay. Then down here, I'm going to say start task, and I think I put it in parentheses, start task lights just like that and compile all right cool so for here for the task lights what I want this to do is I want it to run forever so I'm gonna say put it in a while loop all right and then right here I'm gonna use an if statement I'm gonna say if and then I'm gonna say sensor value is greater than uh, let's say 1,000, excuse me, sensor value speed. If sensor value speed, yeah, that's what we call it, speed control. Sensor value speed control is greater than 1,000, then I want to turn the LED on. So let's say uh, turn 
LED on, green, green light. All right, just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to say if sensor value speed control is greater than 2,000, then I want to turn LED on yellow. Okay, so what's going to happen is if I turn that potentiometer up, it goes above 1,000, the green light's going to come on, and it's going to stay on. And then if it goes above 2,000, the yellow light's going to go on and stay on. And I think I need to do this as an else if. So else if, like that. And then I'm going to copy this. Here we go, just like that. And I'm going to copy this right here. And I'm going to paste it. Else if sensor value speed control is greater than 3,000, then I'm going to have the red light go on. So just like that. Uh, and then I'm going to say down here, else. And then I don't need to say else if because this is just else, the total ending thing. I'm going to say turn LED off. Green lights, turn, oops, turn LED off, yellow lights, turn LED off, red light, just like that. All right, so now what's going to happen is this task lights is going to run forever while true. It's going to run, 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 run. If the speed control value is greater than 1,000, then it's going to turn the green light on. If it's greater than 2,000, it's going to turn the yellow line on. If it's greater than 3,000, it's going to turn the red light on. Or else, it's going to turn all of them off. All right, so let's see. Task main, we're going to start that task lights, and then we're going to run until bump. This one, so when you hit the button, the motor's going to go on. When you hit the button, the motor's going to go off. All right, so we can have those things running multiple things at the same time. So I'm going to push download to robot. All right, I'm going to click start. All right, make sure my motor works. Okay, I pushed it. Push it again, it goes off. My potentiometer is currently at zero. I'm going to turn it slowly, 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 and I should go above 1,000 here in just a second. And what we want to see is that green light go on and it went on all right and I'm gonna keep going and when we go above 2000 the yellow light should go on and it's not okay all right so the green light works but the other ones don't all right so this happens a lot you have to figure it out when you're coding kind of what's going on so let's close that I think what's happening is that the if statement, this first if statement is uh, is correct. So I don't think we need this else if or this else if. We may not even need this else right here. So let's get rid of that. Let's just see. All right. All right, so now if we turn it up, yeah, that's exactly right. Okay, so I'm gonna push start or stop, and I'm gonna start it again. My potentiometer is at zero. Okay, nothing turned those LEDs off, so I have to click stop here. Okay. All right, we wanna turn those, those LEDs off. So let's just do another if. We'll do if sensor value so I'll just copy this right here. Encoding, you, you, copying and pasting a lot can really help you. So I'll say if it's less than 1,000, it's going to turn all those lights off. So I'm going to download that. I'm going to say start. All right, so it's less than 1,000, so those lights are off. Good. So as I turn 
and the value goes up and it should go up to above a thousand and there green light went on keep going keep going yellow light went on good keep going keep going red light went on good and then now if I go all, all the way back down they all go off all right just like that all right and then this the motor button should still work at the same time so I could have that going and I could do the, the LED lights all at the same time and you're good to go all right now I want to introduce something a little bit more sophisticated and basically I want the the speed of the uh, motor to be controlled by the potentiometer so I'm going to leave all this code exactly where it is um, and in here I'm going to introduce a variable. I'm going to say int speed value. And I'm going to say it's equal to uh, the sensor value of the speed controller, which is our, our uh, uh, potentiometer there, divided by, now if the highest value and I'm going to pull up a calculator real quick. The highest value of our potentiometer is 4,095. But the, the, the actual highest value of the motor speed can only be 127. So if I take 4,095, really I want it to be 4,095 to be 127. All right, so it would be 4,095 over 127, so I'll say divided by 127. So I want to divide by 32, I'm guessing. Let's just try it. So I'll say divided by 32. All right, now it's going to check the value, divided by 32, and then it's going to get whatever that value is. So if it's 4,000, it's going to divide by 32. So let's just double check that. Uh, let me pull that calculator up again. So if it's at 4,095 times, or excuse me, divided by 32, yeah, we'll get 127. So we're good. All right, now if it's at, let's say the potentiometer is halfway at 2,000, divided by 32, it'll be at 62. So we're good. Um, because the value of the motor should be between uh, 0 and 127. All right, so there we go. And then down here for this uh, drive motor speed, we want to have it set for speed uh, value, just like that. And then I'll compile it. All right. Now the thing about this is it's going to start the program and it's going to wait for the button to be pressed. So you set the speed, you press the button, it's going to go that fast. And it's going to wait for you to push the button again. Uh, and then it's gonna if you push the button again, it's gonna stop it and then you you can change the speed again So this one is not going to dynamically change and I'll show you what I mean by that right now. So we'll click download the robot All right, you can see our values down there. I'm gonna click start Okay, so right now the potentiometer is at zero. So if I push this button it, It's running the motor at zero right so if I push it again, now it's waiting for it, right? I'll turn up the value. Remember, all the way, that should be 127, so I'll press. Uh-oh. Nothing happened. There we go. All right, so now we got the motor going. I'll push the button again. And it's at 127, right? So if I bring it down to about halfway, there's about 2,000. It's going to divide that by 32, and it's going to set that as the speed. There it goes. All right. If I change this right now, it's not going to change the value of the motor unless I stop it and then start it again. And that's it's going real slow because I have it real set real slow. And then notice while I'm doing that. The, the lights are still working. So I'm using this value of the potentiometer for more than one thing. I'm using it for the speed 
and I'm also using it for the lights. All right. All right, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Um, good luck. Hope you have fun.